the, the definition, the full definition of the precaution principle is on decision making, what, what should be accepted or rejected in situations for which you do not have enough evidence or you do not have evidence yet. In other words, scientific knowledge has not been um, uh, sufficient in establishing a clear-cut answer about things like what you exercise in daily life. 99% of things we do are based on uh, precautionary principles in our daily lives. The, the, but, but there's something much deeper there, is that as people are getting more and more um, into uh, techniques of risk management, they tend to forget that most of the risks we are taking are of non-evidentiary nature in the sense that the evidence comes always too late. And this is what we're trying to avoid. This is a very general concept that people know, have always understood in history, in uh, decision-making. And But the problem of what we call scientism, uh, you know, in the Hayekian sense, Hayekian, Popperian uh, sense, scientism, this idea of using mechanistic tools from science to make uh, uh, you know, claims and techniques, scientism has blinded people to... Uh, you know, this form of reasoning that is uh, effectively more rigorous in science because, you know, you have an asymmetry. You may die if you're wrong, and if you're right, the payoff may be very small. And you argue, you argue very uh, thoughtfully in the paper that um, experts are, are important, but you have to pick the right kind. Very, very often, people in a given profession develop expertise about what they're doing. And in, in most domains, they don't quite have a grasp of the risks simply because your knowledge, uh, professional knowledge, uh, may, you know, help you do a lot of things. <laughs> but particularly if it's academic, it's not going to help you understand the risks. This we've seen in many domains. Uh, like traders understand the risk because they're pretty much risk managers, built to be risk managers. But uh, the... Say people that we've, you know, we encounter quants, for example, they understand the return because they don't understand the risk of something. But what they don't understand is typically is that the risk belongs to a completely different category. In other words, the tail risk, the risk of ruin, is very different from knowledge. So, for example, your risk can increase while your knowledge is increasing. And we have shown... In, in the paper and in some derivations elsewhere, how, for example, sometimes you bring something new, a new technique for which you understand the benefits are going to be great. And what you do is you increase both the benefits and the risk of ruin. So we end up worse off than you started, sometimes trying to cure a problem with another one. 